Hey yeah, it's Fia. So for today's video, I'll be sharing to you our Binondo food trip here at Manila Chinatown in Tondo, Manila. This is also in celebration of the Chinese New Year this 2023. Come hey fat joy everyone. Disclaimer though, this video was taken last July 2022 but I got easy and this is the only time for me to edit this one. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the sample map for Pinondo, Manila, Chinatown from Click the City and this is going to be our reference for this video. Let's start with the Dong Bay Dumplings. Dong Bay Dumpling is located at Yuchenko Street in Pinondo, Manila and they are famous for their Kuchai Dumplings and Xiaolong Bao. During our visit, they don't have a dine-in option, all are for takeout, and there are no queues luckily so we're number one on the line but usually the line here is very long so we got lucky this day. The dumplings are handmade on the spot that's why it took around 10 to 15 minutes before our order arrived and this is us waiting for the food. Okay, this is the Dong Bay Kut Chai Dumplings is made of pork and Chinese chives combo. Now from Dong Bay Dumplings, let's move to Tasty Dumplings. Tasty Dumpling is located at Noberto Tea Corner, Yuchenko Street, Binondo, Manila. Their popular dishes are breaded pork chop, pork chop, dumplings, and noodles. So we had to queue for a while because the queue is somehow long when we visited. And instead of ordering dumpling, we tried their famous breaded pork chop, which now costs 195 pesos, but I think the serving is good for two. So for size comparison, you could check the palm of my hand or the size of my hand to the size of their breaded pork chop which is really big and I can say that it really is good for two. My sister and I shared in one meal because as much as possible, we don't want to be full or mabusog agad because we want to try other foods here in Binondo. So just a tip, try to go with your friends and family and instead of ordering one per person, you can just share and divide the meal para makatipid and at the same time, you get to try more food in other restaurants too. So in terms of taste, parang wala namang special dito sa breaded pork chop. Talagang malaki lang siya, kaya dinadayo ng mga tao and maganda yung place malamig so okay naman next stop after tasty dumpling is cafe mezzanine hindi talaga kami umorder dito pero nadaanan namin so ipapakita ko the same goes with binondo church hindi kami nakapasok sa loob pero nadaanan naman namin siya someday we'll go back to binondo and maybe try this too naman our next stop is at Binondo Church, formerly known as the Menor Basilica and National Shrine of St. Lorenzo Ruiz, Parish of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, and it is located in the district of Binondo, Manila, fronting Plaza San Lorenzo Ruiz here in the Philippines. And the original design of the church came from the talented Spanish architect Domingo de la Cruz Gonzalez. After that, along Ong Pin Street, we went to Eng Bitin and then dumaan kami sa Chuan Ki. Hindi kami naka-stop pero nadaanan naman namin. 
there's a lot of NB teen stalls and franchise din naman from different malls pero we made sure na pumunta dito sa NB teen sa Binondo, Manila kasi it's really big and they offer a lot of other varieties na madalas hindi makikita from stall so ayan parang imposible rin pumunta ka ng Chinatown nang hindi nagche-check ng mga Hopia, Tikoy and such ba diba? so we made sure na dumaan dito para makabili na rin ng mga snacks for us to eat when we get home And let's take a look at their display. It's Hopia. So for size comparison, this is me habang nakapila sa cashier. And it's really big. So ayan lang. Share ko lang. Malaki yung space ng NB10 and naka-aircon din. So kahit maraming tao, okay lang. Pero ayun, medyo mas mahaba lang talaga yung pila sa cashier. Pero okay lang. Meron din silang second floor na nagpo-offer sila ng different food aside from Hopia. Pero hindi na namin na-try or hindi na kami kumain doon. But I still consider this as our lucky day kasi merong free taste ng Mr. Ube na malunggay noodles. And masarap naman siya. Siyempre libre na nga magre-reklamo pa ba ako. <laughs> We really wanted to try Chu Wan Ki, a Chinese Turo Turo, but the queue is long. So we skip this then, pero someday sana makabalik kami and makatry dito. Next stop ay itong Howland Hopia and Bakery. So some people prefer yung Hopia dito, yung iba gusto sa NB10. So kayo bahala kung anong gusto. This Howland is located at 551 Yuchenko Street, Binondo, Manila. And they offer different kinds of treats from China. So, meron silang Chinese candies. Pero nakakatawa, they also offer Filipino treats or candies. I think this is to cater para sa mga Chinese na bumibisita dito sa kanila. Iba naman kasi ito. Ito yung mas onti yung branch kasi nito rin sa ibang. Mas hindi din di ba meron sa mga H&M? Hey, H&M nun. Dito. Ito, may custard dun. Ito nga, okay na ko. So we bought the mustard hobia, fortune cookie, and some pal. A ship in the harbor is safe, but that's not what ships are built for. Panet. Ano ka dyan? I think one way to interpret this it's that it's only after you've stepped out of your comfort zone that you begin to change, grow, and transform. Ano sabi sa'yo, ma? Accept what is it. Let go of what was. Have faith in what will be. Hmm. In English, trust the process. Ah, trust. And minds to step out of your comfort zone. I think that's what mine is. After Holland Hopia and Bakery, our next stop would be Shanghai Fried Shop. The original Shanghai Fried Shop is located at 828 Ong Fin Street that have been existing since 1985. It's actually a quaint stall with a sign on top that says Shanghai Fried Shop. So, dito kami medyo natagalan kasi super haba talaga ng pila and medyo mainit kasi hindi naman aircon. 
parang stall lang siya. And they sell it for 35 pesos each na. So, dati 16 pesos lang. Pero, I think it's still worth the price. So, this is us while nakapila. Hehe. <laughs> Bumigit na. <laughs> Bumigit! Kasi... Okay na eh. Yan, tingin. Yung sarap. Ay, ano ba? Ano ba yung shopaw? Asan shopaw? Asan shopaw? If ayaw nyo pumila, meron din ditong shopaw sa may JB Tan. Pero hindi sila yung original. Pero it tastes the same naman. It's not shown in this map, but we also went to Lord's Toast Bakery. So, ang minar ko na lang na place is yung nasa may manyo, sa dun naman siya malapit. Lord's Toast Bakery is located at Imperial Sky Garden, 707 Ong Pin Street in Binondo, Manila. It is originally made from Macau and is established in the Philippines since 1999. They are famous for their egg tarts, which comes in a box of 4, 6, and 12s. I'm not sure if this is updated, but last July 2022, the price of their egg tart per piece is 56 pesos, box of 4 is 220 pesos, box of 6 is at 320 pesos, and box of 12 at 630 pesos. Maliit lang yung space nila, usually kasi for takeout lang, pero may space din naman for dine-in, and malamig naman yung aircon nila, so okay din. Tanya ya. Hmm. Pilih mau. <laughs> Next for our last stop, we went to Wai Ying. Established in 1998, Wai Ying Fast Food serves an authentic Cantonese cuisine in the heart of Chinatown, Binondo, that has been well loved by tourists and locals alike. Wai Ying is located at 810 Benavide Street in Binondo. They are famous for their hakao or shrimp dumplings, shomai, and beef balls. Dito mahaba rin yung pila. I think almost 20 to 30 minutes kaming naghintay kasi maramihan yung kumakain dito parang pamipamilya din per table so kung may ma-free na table dun lang kayo papapasukin may pagpapalista or magsasabi kayo ng name and then pag tinawag tsaka kayo papasok sa loob so habang nakapila panoodin nyo muna akong mag-inerte at alisin yung eyelash extension ko na nahuhulog na pero kumakapit pa naman sila and then hindi ko na na-videohan pero pinapasok na rin kami sa loob and then umorder na kami So this is our order. So hati-hati lang kami para again maraming matikman sa isang order lang. lang.
nag-open na kami siya. Hindi na kami. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I did editing it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa next videos ko. Again, remember to keep the world full of sugar and spice and everything nice.